Up in the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, cover that the trap now, but the rest of the is a rap and a Yo guys, what is going on Timpers here and welcome back to another video on the channel. So, in today's video I'll be teaching you guys how to make a very nice looking lower third like the one on the screen. And yeah, it's just very easy to do. Um, and before we get any further into the video, I'd just like to say a very big thank you for the sick support on the, my videos since I started uploading again. It's just been crazy and if you could keep it up, that would be sick. And yeah smash a like on this video and let's get into it so this is what we'll be making is very easy like i said so the first thing we're going to do is get a rectangle tool choose whatever color you want i'm just going to go with a nice green color like so and you want to make a rectangle about this size something like that rasterize it and then press ctrl t and then hold ctrl shift and alt and then drag this across to make it slanted. Next I'll be using my 10kg effects pack so um, yeah I'm going to be using some of the stocks. I'm using this one right here, drag it in. If you don't have this pack then you can download it, it's just if you type in 10kg effects pack on my channel it will come up. So yeah what you want to do is just right click create clipping mask and then go to color dodge. Then what you want to do is press Ctrl J to duplicate it. Create clipping mask, it just en enhances the effects a bit. You can do that a few times. Like so. And then you want to merge them all together by pressing Ctrl E. Then go back over to the pack and choose this one right here. Create clipping mask. Uh, set it to color dodge as well. And then press Ctrl J, and then create clipping mask. Then Ctrl J again, create clipping mask, and then Ctrl E to merge it all together. And it gives it a very nice uh, grungy, well not grungy, like techy sort of background. It looks really nice. And then I'm going to double click on the layer, add a gradient overlay, and set that to overlay. And bring that up a little bit as well about 30 percent then you want to rasterize it go to the rectangle marquee tool we'll just make sure that this is directly in the center rectangle marquee tool and you just want to go right to the center it's very hard it's better if you get your rules if you get the rules just press ctrl r and drag it into the middle but I just can't be bothered doing that right now. And then you want to use the arrow tool and just move it to the right a bit. And then move it up a little bit. And it gives it a cool little um, effect. It looks very nice. Um, and then you want to add a new rectangle. Make sure it's darker than what you had before. So I want to choose a dark green. And you just want to bring it right in the middle. Like so. Bring it below what you've already had. Press Ctrl T and we're going to put it, actually no, I've done this wrong, let me start that again, just going to delete that, rectangle tool, put it right there, bring it below, rasterize it, bring it right into the middle, so right by about there, then press Ctrl T, and we're going to give it a slant again, so you want to hold Control Shift and Alt. And do that. Um, that might not be perfect, but it should be fine. Um, and then the next thing we're going to do is just go to the Brush tool. Add a new layer, and you want to choose green, or whatever colour you've been using. And we're just going to add a spot of green in the middle. Set that to Colour Dodge as well can bring down the opacity of that a little bit if you want. Now we're just going to add some text. You can put whatever what you want here. You can put like your social media. You can put like be sure to subscribe but I'll put be sure to like. And the font that I'm using here is Long Call. It's a really good font. You can find that on dafont.com. I'll put that right in the middle. And then we're just going to add a little layer style to it. Gonna go to gradient overlay, make sure it's on normal, and then add an inner glow. You can copy these down just by pausing the video. That's what it is. 
Uh, also, you can add a drop shadow to it, which is a small one. You can copy down the settings for that as well. And then finally, we're just going to group all that together. Control G, press Control T. We're just going to rotate it. And finally, we're going to go to Cartoon Flames. We're going to choose this one. You don't have to do this. This is just an extra thing to put behind it. Um, and as you can see, it's got like a black background, but we're going to remove that. We're just going to rotate it to something like this. Press Ctrl U and you want to change it to the colour you've been using. Bring it below. And then you want to set it to lighten. I think it's already on lighten. And then we're just going to rub away the outsides of it. Just remove that black. When you put this over the top of a video, you will not see the black outline. It will just be the green explosion. But I'm just rubbing away just to show you guys what it looks like. But yeah, that's about it. It's really nice. Oh, actually, if you go to filter, uh, pixelate, mosaic, it just gives makes it look more gaming style. It looks really nice. But yeah, that's about it. Once you've done that, just control G, bring it down to wherever you want it to be on your video, and go to file, save as PNG, or export, save for web. Either way, that's it, and it looks really, really nice. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button down below. That would really mean a lot. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what videos you'd like to see from me next. Um, and yeah, with that all being said, I hope you're all having a sick day today, and I'll see you in the next video.